Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and today I'm here to talk about organization and actually kind of witnessing your organization. Um, most people with ADHD say, I'm disorganized, I'm a mess. Um, and I say, no, you actually are organized and you do have systems. The first thing that you have to do is you have to map out your current system and you have to look at your system and say, why is my system the way that it is? Um, it can reveal a lot of really important things. Um, I'm going to give you an example here today, and I'm going to do the best I can because I'm covering a lot of material, but I was working with a real estate agent um, who did very well, I might add, but always had some anxiety and I got to get a better system. I got to get a better system. I said, well, let's think about your system. Like, what do you do? Basically, uh, she gets leads from people texting her or making phone calls. So that text comes in and that lead comes in and what she does is she responds to them. Um, can I help you or can we get on the phone to have a conversation about whatever it is? So she actually has a record of all of her clients by those that are texting her or that she has a voicemail for. It's a record. Um, she typically gets on the phone and has a conversation with them and has a pretty good idea after she's had conversations with her. She can recall that relatively well. And um, if she's got something to do, like she's got to go back and look on MLS to get a couple properties, she writes a note and she goes and does that. Um, and she comes up with some property, she takes the, the, the people out and goes and does whatever. As I began to talk to her about this, I, I began to ask, well, really, what, what system do you want? Well, her real estate company had a CRM, which is a customer relationship management system. Um, there's different types, and she never used it. Uh, I talked to her about that, and I'm like, well, why wouldn't you use it? Well, entering all that data is a repetitive and boring task classic characteristics for press procrastination for ADHD. So let's not go do that because it's not working because it's too much effort to put that in. So then I began to talk to her, well, really, um, if you had it in there, what do you do it for? Well, I could have an idea of what's outstanding in terms of my client base and stuff like that. I said, well, let's think about this. Do you have any of these things that fall through the cracks? And basically she said, no. And we began to talk about her industry. She's a residential real estate person. is very reactive, like somebody in Ohio wants to buy a house in Georgia, uh, you get a phone call that they're coming in and you got to go take them out and show them a bunch of houses. You're kind of like the flea on the tail of the end of the dog. It's a very reactionary thing and very, very kind of chaotic. And so as we began to talk our way through this, we began to realize is that her system actually was really pretty good because basically every day she would go through her phone and she would scroll down and look at all the texts. Oh, Hmm, I need to follow up with these guys. I haven't, you know, whatever, or scroll through her voicemails and she would recognize, oh, I need it. This is a couple days old. Maybe I should follow up. So you'll notice that she had a record. She had a visual trigger or reminder about the things that were outstanding and the ones that were a couple days old and she would follow up with them. So there's a prioritization in this somewhere that was actually working. Now, some days were really, really busy and maybe she should get these things, but she couldn't. And other days were slow, but her system a very visual, which is really good for uh, people with ADHD, um, of what's going on actually was there. As we got through it, really what she needed was she just needed a bigger picture to understand what was outstanding. So, putting our little thinking caps on to make this real easy, uh, she could write down a list, but then she'd have to scratch it off, and that just gets kind of crazy. So what we decided to do is just go through and put the name of each prospect on a post-it. Uh, just one post-it and stick the post-it on a sheet of paper, like on a sheet of paper where there's just a bunch of post-its. And she could actually move them around. Um, somebody sells a house or she, uh, they buy a house, she takes them off or adds somebody on. But she had a record. The cool thing about sheets of paper like this, you can roll them up and put a rubber band around them uh, to make them nice and convenient. Here's the moral of the story is that after we went through and took a look at her existing system, well, let me back up. She wanted to get more organized but we didn't need to. We went through and mapped out her current system, began to realize how it worked, why it worked the way it did, why she wasn't using the, the, uh, the CRM at work. And we said, well, really, what's at issue here? It's the anxiety. I need to see all my clients all at one time. And we just put the name on Post-its on a sheet of paper. Now, just so you know, we're exploring a couple ideas is to have uh, different color Post-its to, to signify we're in, they're in different stages. So let's say a green would be uh, somebody's about to buy, yellow, and maybe red is somebody's just starting the process. Of course, every time they go from one color to the other color, you got to rewrite the name on it, which might be too much work, but we don't really know. We're going to figure this stuff out. But 
The reason I'm doing this video with you is that if you feel like you're disorganized, um, if you're coming to me for coaching, the first thing I do is I map out what you're currently doing, which is what industrial engineers do first in a, like a production facility if they're going to try to make it more efficient. What we do is we map out what you're doing first, we take a look at those touch points and we make some adjustments. And so I hope this was a little bit of a tangible example of what that would look like. Um, certainly, it might be a little bit overwhelming to you because your situation might be a little bit differently. But I did want to give you the concept of you'd be dead if you weren't organized. You do have some systems in place, even if you're relying on other people. But if you map them out first and understand why, usually what I find, we just have to tweak those systems a little bit, not reinvent them, which, by the way, to come up with a completely new system realizes that it's going to be a challenge because number one, it's going to tax your working memory um, because you have, in, from a self-regulation perspective, you have to stop and think about what you're going to do each time. Stop and think and stop and think and developing new habits and new systems is very, very effortful, which is why you start them and you never get into them because you never really reprogram your brain. Um, okay, so that being said, I hope this was useful and helpful. Please subscribe by hitting, to our channel by hitting our subscribe button right here. Leave comments on what you think. Maybe even if some of you go out there and map out your current system, let me know how that works. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk video. Take care.